Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. Imagine you're standing at the edge of a vast, uncharted wilderness. Ahead of you lies a path you've never taken, leading you to a destination you can't even yet see. This isn't just a journey through nature, it's the journey you embark on every time you start something new. Whether it is a career leap, launching a new business, diving into a new sport, picking up a new hobby, or attempting to develop a new skill. Each time, the path is filled with unknowns. Now, here's the terrible part. 90% of people give up just when they are on the brink of breaking through to the next stage. That's right, 90%. It's sad. The journey of growth and achievement is not for the faint-hearted. And what separates the 10% who succeed from those who don't might just surprise you. It's understanding the five stages of achievement in any new endeavor and knowing what to do in each stage. I'll outline the five stages so that you can identify where you are in each of your important endeavors. Think about your career or your business as we go through these. And I'll tell you what to do to optimize your success at each stage in order to get to the next stage. Stage one is the awakening. This is when you get the call to adventure. Have you ever felt a a stirring within you, a call to something new, something more, something different, something greater than your current reality? That is the awakening. It's when the opportunity presents itself, where you see something that triggers a keen desire inside. Maybe you've read a book or heard a story that lit a fire in your heart. You start to dream about it, set goals for it, and thirst to spend time doing it. If you are in this stage, you might feel a blend of excitement and uncertainty. You're eager to embark on your journey, but unsure and uneasy about where it might lead. Stage two, the ascent. This is when you start facing challenges and achieving early success. You're climbing, you're facing those challenges head on and celebrating those early victories. It's exhilarating, isn't it? And it's also hard work. You might feel exhausted at times, even overwhelmed, but every challenge that you overcome strengthens your resolve. Stage three, the plateau. Ah, the plateau. Every journey has one or many. After initial successes, progress can slow down or stall and doubt starts to creep in. Maybe you've hit a significant obstacle or things just aren't moving as fast as they used to. It's frustrating, it's disheartening even, but it is also an opportunity, an opportunity to reassess, to learn and to pivot. Stage four, the renaissance. For those who persevere through the plateau, a renaissance awaits. This is a period of rebirth, innovation, and transformation. You find new ways to overcome old problems and your purpose becomes clearer than ever before. It is a powerful stage filled with creativity and renewed determination. And then stage five is the legacy. Finally, we reach the legacy. This stage is about mastery and about giving back, sharing your journey's wisdom with others. You've reached most all your goals in this endeavor. There's little more for you to achieve personally. Now your focus is finding fun and fascinating ways to to find mastery of your craft and then to share the boons of those discoveries by paying it forward to others. So where are you in your career or business based on the five stages? Identify it. And now I'll give you tips on what to do within each stage. So stage one, the awakening. At this stage, it's about devouring knowledge, seeking mentors, being an apprentice, doing your homework, talking to people at the top of their game in that endeavor and setting your goals, preparing for the journey ahead. If it is a new entrepreneurial endeavor, be sure to read the Entrepreneur Roller Coaster book and take the E-Fast Pass. If it is a new endeavor of any other sort, be sure to read The Compound Effect and get yourself the Living Your Best Year Ever journal to help you build a plan. If you are in stage two, the ascent, stop reading and apply. Apply, 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 apply aggressively. Don't worry about the results, just put in the reps. You need to be focused on one thing, AOMA, which stands for All Out Massive Action. Count your reps, not the games won, not the touchdowns, not the completed passes, just put in the reps without discouragement. AOMA, baby, AOMA. The completed passes, touchdowns, and victories will come, but only after a long stretch of AOMA. This is where most drift, don't. If you're in stage three, the plateau, maybe you faced a significant setback, like a big competitive blow, an industry disruption, a business failure, a career hurdle, or even personal issues that suddenly stunted your progress. This is a critical testing ground where the depth of your determination and adaptability is truly being tested. This is called the valley of death. 
all you can do here is as Churchill instructed, when you're going through hell, keep going. Find some outside inspiration to help push you forward. Consider insane productivity to help, to organize and to drive you, or the hero's journey to help raise your EQ and level up your leadership and influence game. If you're in stage four, the Renaissance, after reflection, you might realize a pivot is necessary, a complete new approach to your business or career path. If you're in this stage, start thinking creatively. Let go of what's worked in the past. Adaptability, flexibility, creativity, and resilience is what is necessary to spark your renaissance. The best place to get what you need to ignite a renaissance in your head and heart and corpuscles is at the Business Masterclass. No doubt you will find what you need to break through to the next stage. And that takes us to stage five, the legacy. Now, as a seasoned, successful, and veteran pro of your industry or career role, now it is time to mentor others to follow your path, to send the elevator back down, so to speak, so others can rise up. Your focus shifts from personal achievement to empowering others, ensuring that your journey has a lasting impact. This is when you bring others with you to BMC attending with them to provide an example, but doing it primarily to sponsor and support their growth and development. You might also facilitate groups going through insane productivity or the hero's journey, sharing your own discovered wisdom and insight with each of the lessons and helping relate it to your industry and to their roles. So there you have the five stages of achievement. Again, you can apply this not only to your business and career, but to any new endeavor that you take on. When you know where you are, you know what to expect so you don't get discouraged and quit like 90% of people do. And you now know also, you know what to do in each stage to get you to the next. The goal is to get to stage five, mastery, in all the endeavors important to you so that you can then start helping others get there too. That is the whole goal of this game that we call life, to see how many people you can help do what you have proven to master. Hey, producer Mariani here. In today's mentor session, Darren mentioned a few of the programs he has packed with some of his best guidance for those forging their own paths to success. There is a lot to unpack about each of these, and I know you want to head out and start your day. So I will link each program in the show notes so you can choose your own adventure. If you need more guidance on your productivity, then choose the path to insane productivity. Maybe you're doing some problem solving as a leader, then Hero's Journey is for you. Or if you're a CEO or leader in your business looking to start thinking outside the box, then I suggest you check out Darren's Business Masterclass. I have dropped all the links for each program in the show notes so you can choose what fits your journey. The journey is your own to choose, but no matter what path you pick, we will be here to support you. Have a great day, everyone.